An illegal alien just followed a U.S. senator, Democrat Kirsten Sinema, into a public bathroom to harass her about an upcoming vote and to demand amnesty and a pathway to citizenship. Elected, we can get you out of office if you don't support what you promised us. We need 7 million citizenship for 7 million. We need the Bell Black Better Plan right now. <laughs> My name is Blanca. I was brought here to the United States when I was three years old. And in 2010, my grandparents both got deported because of SB 1070. And I'm here because I definitely believe that we need a pathway to citizenship. My grandfather passed away two weeks ago, and I was not able to go to Mexico and visit him because there is no pathway to citizenship. And if we have the opportunity to pass it right now, then we need to do it because there's millions of undocumented people just like me who share the same story or even worse things that happen to them because of SB 1070 and because of anti-immigrant legislation. In a serious country, this woman would be deported before she could say hola muchacho. But because we are not a serious country at the moment, she won't be. In fact, she's being applauded by a lot of the American left. She is not worried at all. She is so unconcerned about being held to account for this serious crime that she is currently committing, that she is flaunting it right in front of one of the nation's supposedly most powerful lawmakers. And it isn't just illegal aliens. It's the media. It's the entrenched interests. It's the exalted duck de Fauci flaunting their expanding and illegitimate power and laughing because there's nothing you can do about it. This woman this illegal alien lady who doesn't sound like a three-year-old. I don't know about you. She says, I was brought here when I was three and she's still got quite a bit of an accent. So she hasn't learned a ton of English. Perhaps maybe she's learned the English, but she hasn't assimilated quite so much during all that time since she's been three years old. She is now complaining that she's not allowed to come and go as she, she's in this country illegally. She's not allowed to come and go as she pleases because if she leaves, people might realize at the border that she's a foreign national and has no right to be in this country. And so they might not let her back in, but she wants to stay in. So she doesn't get to go on vacation. She doesn't get to leave the country. She doesn't get to go see her family outside of the country, right? Your family's outside of the country because that's where, that's where you guys are citizens. And then some people broke the law and came here illegally. And now you're complaining about this. Further, further, do you hear what she says at the beginning? She and her friends say, we put you in office. We got you elected and we're going to get you kicked out of office. Admitting that illegal aliens are uh, affecting our elections. She's saying, I am an illegal alien. I put you into office. Why is that? In part, it's because some illegal aliens are voting. We know that for sure. We know that they're affecting the election in other ways. They're going door to door. They're canvassing. They're interfering in the election process. I don't want to hear a word about how someone's colluding with the Russians, which isn't even happening, or Ukrainian interference or Russian interference or whatever, when we have millions and millions and millions of foreign nationals influencing our elections right here in the United States. What happened to our democracy? Isn't the bedrock principle of our democracy that the citizens get to conduct their own elections? No, not, not in this country. In this country, this woman is so feels so easy that she's going to go walk up to a top lawmaker in the United States and say, ha ha, I'm breaking the law. Ha ha ha. Hey, make it easier to break the law. It, it shows you also how they've shifted the Overton window here on the left. Initially, what people would call for in this case is deport, deport her and deport all of the other people who are breaking the law by being in this country. Then the argument moved to, look, let them stay. Don't deport all of them. Deport the really bad ones, but let the other ones stay and they'll keep their heads down and it's fine. And because we acknowledge birthright citizenship in this country, and, and we are fairly confident in that for the past at least recent decades, then uh, th that's fine. Now we've moved it all the way over to give them amnesty or they'll harass senators in the bathroom. Does it seem like the right thing to do? Compassionate, just? I don't think so. It's not just the illegal aliens. I mean, this woman should be deported, you know, by the end of this program, but it's not just the illegal aliens. And it's not just the people encouraging illegal immigration. It's the whole liberal apparatus. I'm glad you liked that clip. Get the whole show either here at the Michael Knowles Show on YouTube or at Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, Google Play, wherever you get your podcasts. Type it in, the Michael Knowles Show. Subscribe. Click that button. We'll see you next time.